Well, with me now is Khalil Youssef from the Ahmadiyya Muslim community worldwide. That's a movement that promotes peaceful Islam. And today their association is holding a mass peace rally against Islamic extremism. Khalil, thank you very much for coming in. What do you make about that recruitment video, first of all, and the fact that there was a British student in it? Shocking, disappointing, worrying. Uh, and I think that uh, we're most concerned that we find now uh, young British students, young British Muslim men who are being engaged in this sort of terrorist activity. We as a community, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community worldwide, we're established in 204 countries with almost 100 million members now. We absolutely and categorically condemn such videos and any promotion of terrorism or extremism. So why are young people being drawn towards that? Is there not enough leadership to, in within your community to take them elsewhere? Well, it's a very good question. I think outside of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, and I'll probably come to that in a moment, there is a real leadership crisis in Islam. And the challenge is that you have individuals now who are deciding that they want to declare war on other governments. Of course, that is not uh, something that is sanctioned by Islam. And the leadership crisis in Islam is making that much more difficult in the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. And what distinguishes us from uh, other Muslim communities is that we do have a single leader that uh, regulates us from a spiritual perspective. Uh, his name is His Holiness Mirza Musur Ahmed and he is the caliph of uh, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community and the important point is that he isn't a political leader, he's a spiritual leader and that spiritual uh, connectedness that we have as a community worldwide is so important in ensuring that you don't have extremism, don't have radicalism and that's something that we have been able to uh, ensure doesn't happen within our community anywhere in the world. Well, we've heard from the father of that student and the heartbreak that is going on within that family um, it, it sort of focuses on how something like this can happen without the family even knowing yeah again it's a very good point that you make because in order to establish peace you have to have justice and actually that begins right from the home mm -hmm. having an environment within the home in which there is discussion in which there is communication the men are involved the women are involved the children are involved and you have an open discussion about these issues and an open discussion about Islam one of the things in the Amdiyo Muslim community is that every single one of our mosques has an equivalent place for women and so women take an appropriate and uh, important role in the nurturing of young people and make sure that what's happening within a mosque actually is a mosque that is uh, promoting peace mm. rather than promoting extremism. Can the government do anything here? Yes I think the government does have an important role and that is to make sure that they engage Muslims at a grassroots level and that's not just about uh, inviting one Muslim group it's about making sure that every single Muslim Muslim group within Britain is represented, mm. is part of an organisation that the government can communicate with and they can then use that as a way of ensuring that a message uh, of uh, peaceful Islam is filtered down into all mosques. Can I just ask you very briefly before you go, why uh, do, do the, the, the Muslim groups that are within the UK, do they coordinate with each other or are you very separate? Well, I mean, we have, we have peace conferences every year and in fact we have them locally and regionally in which we invite people from all faiths. So we, you know, we have great engagement with other religious communities, but I think the Muslim uh, community as a whole isn't connected, and I think the government certainly can take a leadership mm -hmm. role in establishing a central uh, body in which all Muslim groups are represented. I mean, we as a community, for instance, we have a, a pledge of loyalty to Britain, and so uh, having that discussion about what is the role of British Muslims in society, I think, is an important one. Okay, Khalil Yusuf, thank you very much.